Hello YouTube, just a quick upload on how I clean and press a book that is in pretty good condition. As you can see, this Captain Marvel Jr. from February 1947 is in pretty nice shape. It is very clean and the colors are very vibrant. Unfortunately, it does have some imperfections that will knock the grade down, but generally speaking, this is a very nice grade to work on. As you can see here, the colors as indicated are quite bright. There aren't many stains on the cover, and it is definitely a book which I would consider to be well taken care of despite its defects as you can see with a few chunks missing on the front and back cover. So what I want to do is I want to go through the steps to help people who are looking to clean and press books that are in pretty good shape. We're not doing any conservation with this one. The first step that I like to do is before I do anything, I like to thumb through the inside of the book. As you can see, this is the front page of the interior of the book, and it is in pretty good shape. There is some major dog earring on the bottom right of the corner of the book that we want to take care of. Look at this example of the interior page, how white and vibrant the colors are. It's unfortunate that not many books in my collection are this good. So as you can see, that dog ear is pretty bad. So what I want to do is address that before cleaning it. So what I'll do is I'll take a backer board and I will take it and place it underneath the dog eared section of the page. I will try to smooth it out a little bit just with my fingers. And then what I will do is I will take a silicone sheet or Teflon sheet and I will place it over and I will take out my trusty Hanger 9 hand iron and we will slowly massage it so it will lay flat. As you can see, a pretty good job was done, but that is just the foundation for the pressing. Here is a classic example of a miscut from the factory. Look at the top right of the page. It, Captain Marvel Jr. is cut off. Before cleaning, what I'll do is I will take my Teflon sheet, I will put it over the cover, and I will do a light heating up of the cover. I only like to do this when the book is in pretty good shape and not too dirty, so we loosen up the dirt a tiny bit with the heat. Next, we'll take out our trusty makeup pads. Buy a lot of them because you should use many. As you can see, this is the first makeup pad and a tremendous amount of dirt was removed from the cover. Here is the second pad that I use and just as much dirt was removed and I use several more other than these two. Next, I wanna concentrate on some bright colors. This moon needs some nice cleaning. So I do take a white eraser and I do use it on colors. White erasers are not only used for white, in my opinion, if it's done correctly. You want to use it very gently on the colors to prevent lifting of the colors off of the book. Once I see that there is any type of yellowing or the color that you're using on the eraser, it's time to stop. The next step is using Absorb Absorine, which is one of my favorite products for dry cleaning comics. Before using the Absorine, I like to, once again, heat up the cover with my trusty hand ironer just to loosen up any dirt that still exists. For this book, I use the rolling method with the Absorine. I make it into a cigar shape and I roll up and down. Next, it's time to work on the back cover. And as with the front, let's heat it up a little bit because again, this book is, is pretty clean, but even though it's pretty clean, you can see plenty of dirt is removed by using the makeup pads. Next, give it a nice little heating up as well after each cleaning method. Then we break out our white erasers using it on the whites as well as the colors. Then we break out the 
putty one more time. Between cleaning applications, it's always smart to brush off the book and to remove any debris. After I clean the book, I put it between my trusty glass press. I've been using the glass press before using my heat press just to give it a little extra flattening before the heat press and it works very well, usually for about six, seven hours. Next, I take my parchment paper, put it on top of my metal sheet. Then I only take for this book copying paper by placing one piece behind the front cover. And then I take a second piece and I put it between the last page and the back cover. The spine in this shape is in pretty good, the, the spine is in pretty good shape. So this is really all that I use when books are in good shape like this. And then into the press. And then what we do is we'll put a piece of parchment paper over the book. Then our trusty galvanized sheet over the parchment paper set the press for 173 for two to three hours then we let it rest overnight and then the book gets placed into the trusty glass press for another night stay tuned youtube and thanks for watching